Hi guys, welcome to my video. Thanks for joining me again. So today I'm going to do a quick um, tutorial on using a three-quarter hot shot, or well, Helen of Troy uh, curling iron, the gold series. And what I'm going to use this for is, my hair is really, um, I blue dry it, or blow dried it. Anyway, excuse me today, I'm all confused. <laughs> anyway, so I dried my hair and I tied it up in a bun and then now it's still a little damp but not too damp that I can't add in some curls. It's all bushy and frizzy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, this is a video on how to work with already wavy thick hair or curly hair, or this is something that might just give you ideas on how to pop in some beach waves with a three-quarter Helen of Troy Gold Series curling iron. There you go, I got it. So what I'm gonna do is basically um, split it in two, and then I'm gonna spray a little of Main Magic. Um, this is a great all-in-one kind of oil. And it's got a beautiful smell to it as well. So I, I enjoy using this one mm, for curling, for everything. So it's supposed to be a, um, they call it a 10-in-1 primer. So you can use it, like put it on before you blow dry your hair, put it on before you curl your hair. It's supposed to protect it. It's supposed to work like a serum as well as a, it's supposed to be 10 in one. So um, it's called Main Magic. It's by Eva-NYC. And it's listed in my Amazon store down below just to make it easy for you to find it if you are interested in it. It has Aragon oil and sunflower seed oil. 10 benefits in one miracle formula. So I love the smell. I don't use it like a hairspray because I don't really feel it's for that, but it definitely gives your hair, um, makes it softer. And I love that. And I love to use it before I use any heating tool. I learned the hard way and kind of thinned out parts of my hair by flat ironing all the time. So I'm done with that. And so I'm all about curls and waves right now. So I hope you like this video. Uh, so basically, I'm going to split the hair in half. I'm going to start from, I'm actually not going to start from the back. I am basically going to work with the current wave that I have. So it's just messy. And so I just basically use that spritzer. And I made it messy. And I've just been scrunching it up and puffing it up. Bangs I've already straightened with a mini flat iron. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So I love my bangs. You don't have to do this. You may have one length hair and this will work. This technique will work great. But I like to have my bangs and I like to have those straight. And then I left them a little bit kind of wavy, not super straight, just for the look. Um, but I'm just going to take random sections and this should be heated up by now. And I'm going to curl in different directions. So I'm taking just random pieces on the top. I'm not curling my whole head, just for something different, as well as um, this is a great fast go-to hairstyle if you like the messier kind of bed head look. So I'm gonna just basically pop curls in opposite directions. I'm not clamping down. Uh, my heat is on the highest setting, and I'm basically gonna take pieces of hair. Now I curled forward with that one, so now I'm gonna curl in the opposite direction with this one. And I'm winding it around the curling iron. I'm not curling the end because I want that kind of straight look at the end that you've been seeing in like a lot of the hairstyles, that kind of choppy look. So now I'm going over with this piece. And don't worry if you overlap, and I'm keeping the ends straight. And I'm pulling out, and as you can see, it's doing a really nice kind of wave pattern. Now the beachy wave goes, in, it, I find, in different directions. So you, you curl it one way, then you curl another piece the opposite way. And I'm not doing the ends. So that's an important fact. If you curl the ends, you get it curled all the way to the bottom. I want more of a messy, kind of a beach head, random wave pattern. And this is really easy to do. You just wash. It uh, doesn't matter if your hair is curly or not. Wash, dry, and then just take sections just around the top area. Hold like that. And I just love, you can see how it gives you this kind of cool straight pattern. And you can keep scrunching. And so I like to do a couple pieces at the back. I'm just going to do some thin pieces. Whoops. So I'm just going to wrap again. You can see it. And I'll grab another piece so you can see. I've got my end like that. Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction. I'm going to start the other way and wrap the base of it, or the majority of it, the middle of it. I'm going to let go. So you can see how much of a difference this is just kind of stringy straight. This is adding like some natural looking wave and pops. And the beachy look is definitely 
alternating wave pattern or curl pattern. So I love doing this when I'm on the go and I just want like kind of a, a messy look with my bangs. And I don't want to think too much about it. Like I just shake it, go. And this looks really cute. So I'm going to do this side now. And I'm just going to start. So now I'm going to go over. And I also have the curling iron listed in the Amazon store. Um, I don't make a ton of money. I just list the products because it's easy for you to find them and I don't have to keep relisting them. So, see, so you can see how that did a beautiful kind of wave. Super easy and fast. And you don't burn your fingers. If you notice, I'm not wearing my glove. So now I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to go over. And you can curl that in a little bit and pop it. And I love that. And it looks great. So I had my hair cut in a horseshoe and it gave it a nice kind of straight bottom for doing vintage waves. But I found that I couldn't do a lot of hairstyles for every day. Like when I just want to run around, I don't want to be doing pinup curls or whatever. And I like modern looks. So I also went back to my hairstylist and I had her add in layers at the bottom. And the layers really help doing this kind of beachy wave look and this kind of more modern messy look. Um, so she just added in a couple layers at the bottom, not a ton at the top, and then I'm just basically going in with the curling iron and just giving it some body. I'm going to do this piece again, and I'm taking thin pieces less than an inch, maybe half an inch. Make sure that curling iron's on. Am I on? Yeah. There we go. You can see the little light. Double check it. Ooh, it's very easy to turn it off. So I'm just going to do random pieces all around the top. I'm going to keep going. And if you have thinner, finer hair, I would do a lower heat setting. Um, I'm doing a higher heat setting just because I want the real dramatic curl. And I just want it in a couple places, as you see. And if it's too confusing for you, just do it in the same direction. I just find I get a better look. It's not so contrived when you do it in the alternating wave pattern. So I'm going over, keeping the end about two inches, three inches long. And then now I'm going to grab a piece of hair from a different part and I'm going to go under. And I'm just kind of alternating. And if you want to make it a little bit more cohesive, you can do this. Grab a piece of hair, go over, and then see how thin the piece I grabbed? It doesn't have to be big pieces for this look. And it, you already have the volume because it's um, so full at the bottom or just kind of messy at the bottom. Now I'm going to grab a piece of hair very close by. I went over and now I'm going to go under. And you can make it a little bit more patterned if you want to keep it close and just alternate every other one. One over, one under. And you can see how that's just added a lot of body and just kind of a cool kind of wave look to my hair. It's always a challenge to see how it looks with black hair but um, and these lights, but I'm going to do a picture and that hopefully will help and that will go in front of the video. I'm just going to go a little lower on here. And then if you want, just pop in a couple more curls underneath. Now if you've noticed, I didn't do any um, anything underneath the hair. I just did it on the top because I already had so much volume and I just... I want this to be an easy hairstyle and just kind of free flowing and fun. And you can see the waves now. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do a couple more pieces where I feel like it's really straight. I don't know about you, but a lot of times I feel like one side of my hair works out better than the other. Um, so it's an ongoing battle. There we go. You can see that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. I interact with all the comments. I answer all of them. Um, I appreciate your support. And then click the bell for notifications on my latest video. I do hair, makeup, and videos on the photography. So I hope this was helpful. It's kind of a great idea for spring, summer. And I will add a photo on, as I usually do, so you can see what it looks like a little bit in still motion. And hopefully the lights. Totally got this. And then I just basically scrunch to give it body 
And then you can use a little of your serum. I've got a coconut serum. This is listed below. I love the smell of it. And I'll just smooth flyaways that are like right here. I hate when it's flyaway right there. And just scrunch a little bit. And I'm, I'm, my ends are a little bit more choppy and I like them that way. I wanted them a little bit straighter. And just a little serum underneath on the bangs. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this once again. Um, thanks so much for joining me. I'll list everything below and stay tuned. All right. Bye-bye guys.